Amato here, Rhythm Act TV. We have LeJohn here. How are you guys? Rap City's assistant and uh, co choreographer. <laughs> Just off his shoulders. <laughs> so, what piece did you choreograph in the play? I helped choreograph um, the kangaroo piece with Javi, um, the hawk, no, not the hawk, what is it? What bird? It's so many birds and animals, child. It's so many in here. Like, <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> Haley's piece. Oh, okay. She was um, a raven. Raven. Yeah, she was raven. Yeah, and you know, I help clean and polish and yell and throw chairs and you know, try to help them get their lives together and have them feel the music when Rhapsody's away. <laughs> and I hop back in there like, what? What happened? <laughs> so that was I helped with stuff like that. Nice. Now, how does it feel to have like your vision come to life and see your artwork on the dance floor, like? I, I, it's amazing. It's like, you know, every time I see it, I get goosebumps and I get chills because all, it's either that or I'm like trying to hide and be afraid because I don't want anyone to see it. And I'm like, uh, it's bad. It's bad. It's terrible. But then when you see it and you see them living in it and feeling it, it's an amazing feeling. It really is. Now, um, what would you say would be your favorite piece out of the show? The whole show. <laughs> I love the whole show because it had a story, it was a whole concept. It wasn't just dancing, you know, and everyone nowadays, it's just dancing and there's no story. And I love so many different things. I love movies, I love karate, I love kung fu, I love everything. Like, and to merge, merge the worlds with dance and to showcase it like that is amazing. And I think, you know, I wish there was more of that, you know, and not so... I'm just going to go up there and dance to the hot Nicki Minaj song. He's just like, uh, okay, you know. I love themes and concepts and stories so that you can touch somebody's life when they watch it and they connect with you and they're like, oh, the story has a message and not just, okay, we're well, just going to kill everybody and that's the story. No, but like a real story and a real true meaning behind it. And so that's why I love the whole show. The whole show was my favorite piece. Oh, man. <laughs> now I see this show like not just a three night thing. I see this on Broadway, like you know. So we have to get those investors. I agree. Call those investors. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> get those investors. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. I I wish you know we had something like that on Broadway. You know everything is so. You know I love musical theater, but for street jazz and things like that there's no there's no outlet for us and you know so everyone moves to LA and I love LA but it's just like I wish there was something here for us I wish there was a show where just about the dancers just about a story just about a concept that people came and watched you know what I mean and not behind the artists or not behind actors and things like that you know something that showcases dancers and the art of dance you know whether it be jazz Hip hop, a fusion of Indian, African, just all fused into one without, you know, the names. Uh, uh, Angela Bassett and Will Smith, you know, you don't need all those. Those people, these people are heroes, you know what I mean? And the world just doesn't get to see that. And I wish Broadway did have, you know, an outlet for the kids that just do street jazz and commercial dance, you know? Something like LXD, you know? You never know, this might be the beginning, you know? So. Always optimism. Always. Fingers crossed. Always. Yeah. Now, what can we expect from you in the future? <laughs> Any career plans or? Well, I am. I know you teach at Perry Dance and, and BBC. Yeah, I teach at Perry Dance and Broadway Dance Center, and um, I'm focusing my energy on choreography now and artistic direction. I love dancing, but... I feel more alive when I create. And so I'm just slowly, secretly <laughs> working on that stuff, you know? I don't want to rush it and throw it out there. I want to make sure it's right, and so I'm developing it slow. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> on the lookout, y'all. Well, John. <laughs> so um, where can we find you at, your class schedule? Uh, um, I teach at Perry Dance every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 4 o'clock. And then at BDC, I teach um, Sundays at 6, and then Thursdays at 4.30. And for the rest of this year, Monday <laughs> and Wednesday 
at 6 o'clock. Yes, I teach a lot. Don't judge me. I'm trying to get the, the kids' lives together, yes? Just how Rhapsody and Brian Green and all these people inspire me and help me get my life together, I'm passing that on to people. Born and raised in the Bronx, and I came from the gutter and had determination, and people helped me and picked me up and helped me, and so that's why I, I honestly love teaching. And it's not about money, it's not about popularity, you know, it's just about teaching and I love, and that's why I don't mind, it's so many classes, don't judge me, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Any inspiring advice would you give to um, inspiring dancers out there that are watching this? I would say to all the inspiring dancers to work hard, always train, and never give up. You know, it's not going to be easy. It's definitely a rough, rough, rough life. But if you enjoy it and you do it because you love it, you, it won't matter, you know? If you do it from the heart, it won't matter, you know? All that pain and all that struggle and all that being broke and all these... The, just you have to deal with so much but if you love it it surpasses all the crap so you just got to keep pushing and train for your life